morning guys uh, welcome back to mars cloud scm so that today our topic is approvals so approvals in or in the complete uh, you know uh, in the fusion so we are talking exclusively in the p2p side procurement side but you know same concepts will be applied across the all the entities like supplier okay or negotiations or order management so these things will be common platform for scm so we are not uh, i am i don't i am not having any idea about how these approvals will work in the financials but precisely i can say it will work if these concepts will be common for scm platform okay so if you go to approvals how many types of approvals it will allow single approval approval group job level supervisor level and position level so what and all approvals will be widely used in our uh, business scenario in our day to day works job level approval group okay and then position so supervisor i could not see the most of the uh, most of the uh, what you call projects they are not using that but position like i i can see approval group is yes. and job level single approval and all these are for uh, testing purpose and auto approval also we have those and all testing purpose we are going to use but these are the main approvals which are used by many clients many clients i can say okay so now we will create a one simple rule simple rule and then nested rules and then how to add this approval groups and all we are going to talk into the system so let us connect to system just submit this so we have to go to navigation i'll show to you go to procurement purchasing document even equation also approval but also same but my equation is not working so i am using directly the pos so here there are various stages suppose for example if your uh, company wanted to enable pre approvals and terms and post approval that also can, these are the various stages guys so if you want to enable three to four stages yes you can enable or only one stage you can enable and here if you see the routing so routing is serial and parallel serial means it will go one by one first it will go to a and then it will go to b if a as approved it will go to b b as approved it will go to c that is serial parallel means one shot system will send this document po document to four members let's say four members are there so it will it will reach to a b c d on one specific time and the voting resign or oh, sorry voting resign resign so what is meant by that is, is consensus and first responder means so this voting design is applicable to for parallel okay so if it is consensus means let's say system has sent the document to four members four members once four members has, once four members has to be approved then the document is finally approved out of four one has been rejected the document will be rejected that is consensus first responder means out of four suppose he has responded he has re responded as approved remaining three has rejected no problem system will approve the document finally as uh, finally it has been approved so let's say first response rejected three persons has approved so first responder always system will check what is the first respond result based on that it will decide whether the approved document have been approved or rejected okay. and you can see fyy so this is just for sending the information so once you enable this system will send a information to specific group of people that is fyy okay so let us go to see uh, one of the terms i am taken so here we'll see how to write down the queries write down the conditions and then how to write down the uh define the approval right okay so before moving this first i uh, my consultation today is we'll talk about approval groups 
So tomorrow we'll see job level and then position level later. Today approval group we'll see. So approval group, how to define the approval group? So first, before moving here, so we have to define that approval group. So let me open one more tab. So we can go various ways you can go here. So directly from here also you can go through the BPM work list, show all. Sure. Something is blocking. <clears throat> what is this? Okay. So configuration tools work list. Okay, so here is not opening. Let me open directly here. Setup and maintenance. Search. Approval groups. So once we click on that, it will automatically connect to BPM, BPM work list. Okay. So we we are in the approval page. So click on plus. So we wanted to give the name. So zero T four test some group group name right group any name may right okay. so now after that save it then we need to add the members here click on plus so one pet i'll give different different names So PET pet search here. So I'll give one. Let me. Oh, it is one by one. I'm going to select. Okay. So one is Peter. Peter Quill. Then if I want to add multiple here, click on select this one and then go ahead and place below section and then i'll give a peter pet so tyler so like that you can add multiple people Click on plus and what I'll give PT. PT. Healer by. Okay, so like this, you can add multiple people after the group. So this is a way to create your approval group.
Okay, so I successfully created a group. Copy that, put it here. So now save the form. Successfully completed. Close this BPM. Come to your document approval. See there. So I'll write some things here. So instead of this, edit this. So based on category and business unit. Business unit okay. So copy that. Click on OK. Just remove this. So I need to write conditions. See, once you enable this, conditions won't come. So if you disable that, it will come. This rule always applies checkbox. Now add a condition. See here, there are two things, guys. One is and and one is R. And is the operator with the help of that you can add multiple things into one con one uh, rule or is like separation. Now I want to go for category. I'll show both the things. Category name is equal to equal values suppliers. So this is my one, one more con one condition and add another. Another is recreation BU. Is equal to what? Uh, zero T four. Add another if you want. Even you can bring your uh, chart of account segments also. Okay. And requester a buyer. There are a lot of attributes or I class brought. Okay. So I'll give test one, two, three. So like that, you can add multiple. Now this is my end. So I wanted to check, I wanted to build this particular rule for other conditions also. So how to do that? Now, here you have to select this cursor, put the cursor here and add, add operator as a parent. So select as R. So now I'm keeping two. Now under this R, I want to add as a child, one more condition. And okay. So here I have to write condition and a condition above, below, as a child, as a child. As a child means it will come under the end. So here the equation So equation be here, you know. Procurement be here. Because this is procurement, right? Uh yes. Any something just use BU add another so here category to the name equals values office supplies. Okay. Now whatever you added, 
it will come under and this end. So when your b equal to this equal to this, this this will give a one. Then r means any one of the things. Once out of this one is true, then r will execute and system will go for actions. So here I think this is procurement view. <coughs> procurement view. So like that we can write down the nested conditions. Okay. Now, so these are the uh, way, ways to write down the nested conditions. So if you keep parent as R and internally, if you keep child as N and then you can build. And in, in the end also, if you want to build R, you can build. So there are a lot of ways. But this is like high level way. Add action. See here, actions are also, we have multiple. You can add action one, action two, action three, multiple. Okay. So first action one, I'm going to keep as a single approver. So worker only I'll keep because there are cost center, those things and all. And if finally, I'm not sure whether it is there in the system. So first we'll go to Peterson, click on okay then add action so it will add one more action action to see here approval group my approval group is okay sorry this is the one All right what's happening Approval group is zero T four, right? Zero T four. This is not came it. Let me check. So let me close and reopen. Save, save and close. Later will deploy. I think it has. Page is not refresh. That is the problem. Okay, go back now. Marketing procurement approvals. <coughs> Document approvals. And this is annoying. So ask edit rules. Add action, approval group 0 T4, see, bright group. See here, automatically approve if group returns no approvals. If that group doesn't have any approvals, any persons are not present, then if you enable this, automatically system will do. So it is there, I know that. So like that, we can add multiple actions as well, guys. Okay, so with that, Save this, deploy. So changes were deployed. So we'll test this condition. <coughs> so go here. Cancel this. Okay, it is incomplete. Super. So here it is asking schedule date required delivery date so when you want this particular material just save it 
So I just I created one uh, purchase order. Save this form. We can't manage the system will now trigger those rules and system will give two actions. See action one. So if you keep here your cursor, system will tell what tool has been triggered. See based on category and business. This is the rule name. Okay. This it has came from action one, and these three came from group. Okay, so this is the way to build your approval groups. Approval groups, action, and then nested conditions writing. Okay, so with this, uh, we can wind up the session and we can connect tomorrow for job level. So, job level also important and position level also important. So, we'll cover those things in a separate topic. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. We'll, we'll meet on next session.